like, I don't know, like, I just don't think this game is as challenging as people point it out to be. Again, it is challenging, it's just not like, I get, okay, seriously, stop it. <laughs> You're ruining my point, game. You're ruining the point I'm trying to make. That's, it's because I'm so focused on the ramp and I'm not focused on the game. Hey guys, this is Mario Surplus Luigi, and that's right, I am back to doing Let's Player of the Week. I'm so excited to be back doing this. It's not really my fault why I stopped, is my fraps wasn't working, but now I got it working again, and it's all good. So my fourth Let's Player of the Week is Slim Kirby. Slim Kirby is probably my favorite Let's Player ever. He's the first Let's Player I ever saw on YouTube. It was his Mario Party 1 Mario's Rainbow Castle video. First video I ever saw. Slim is an inspiration, and he, it's always a blast watching a Slim Kirby video. I always look forward to coming home from school and just watching a Slim Kirby video. Although his videos are sometimes informative, I mean, knowledge is a good thing sometimes. He teaches us all about different video games, usually Mario, and then not, like, not necessarily teaches us, but, you know, if it wasn't for Slim, I wouldn't know most of the enemies' names. Uh, and minuscule, well, and, you know, like Super Mario World type deal. So, some Kirby's Let's Player of the Week. He always picks great games. Some of them may not be as well known. Like, I had no clue that there's such a game called Lolo and uh, Mystical Ninja, Mischief Makers. You know, he just picks unique games. So that's why the fourth LP of the week is Slim Kirby. So thanks for the inspiration, Slim Kirby. And check out Slim Kirby! Later, folks.